Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a new makeover for you, which I'm so excited about. We've just been having a few issues at the Lone Fox household, I think I mentioned to you in the last video. Some window repairs in my bedroom, which has kind of put a damper on my bedroom makeover because I was so excited for it. And then big pause as we got to painting and realizing that that entire wall needed repaired. I mean, honestly, spoiler alert, if you watch my bedroom mood board video, this was that painted armoire. It's been sitting down here for like a month, but I'm gladly say that I think today's the last day that they're working on the bedroom wall. They're doing the drywall right now, so it should be ready to go very shortly. Bedroom aside, we are going to be working on a random little space, and I'm calling this an entryway makeover because this is kind of like the entryway to the second floor because I don't know what else to call it. A stairwell landing makeover. It just wouldn't really make sense, and people would be like, what? Are you making over? Downstairs is where I have my storage, my work, my supplies, where I film, I keep extra furniture and such. And then upstairs is more like living quarters. So I wanted to create a little landing area. Also, we have to blend in Winston's dog door and we have five different entryways to go through. So there's quite a bit to work on in this tiny little area. I'm switching back to my old camera, by the way. I'm so over this camera that I have, the Canon M50. I don't like it. I don't know why. It somehow had manual focus on. So some of the clips are like, they're not out of focus, but they're not crisp if that makes sense. Uh, and one last thing before jumping into this makeover, we are having a 15% off site-wide sale over on my website, Lone Fox. So if you're wanting to do a little spring refresh in your home, introduce some new pieces, we have so many new decor elements and 15% off the entire site, including vintage, plus domestic orders over 99 always ship for free. So it's like the most perfect time to shop for decor. I'm gonna stop rambling now. I wanna share with you guys the space we are making over. So this little area that we're in right now is kind of like the upstairs connecting point because we have the hallway, we have the dining room, we have what once was a closet, which is now Winston's little area to the outside. We also have the living room. And did I say stairwell already? We have the stairwell as well. So this area is kind of like the upstairs entry landing space. So I'm actually gonna be removing this door frame and just making it look a little bit more like a cased opening, something a bit prettier. And we're gonna add some molding over the top. For the door trim, I actually had this already on hand. I had three pieces of it and I got it at Anderson Molding a while back. It's kind of like a fluted trim, but I thought it'd be a really nice base around the doors and it was a perfect width as well. Got these little medallions at Lowe's and these are just gonna go in the top corners for a little out of detail. And this is really personal preference. You don't have to add these if you don't want to, but I think they're really cute. So I'm going to add them. In order to secure everything down, I'm using my broad nailer and two inch broad nails. I'm sure you guys are wondering what color we are going to be painting this little room here. And I have been going back and forth, going in between green and brown, uh, the kitchen color, color of the kitchen cabinets. Every time I've been designing a new room, I've been wanting to choose new colors for that space, but I realized that it's totally fine to use repetitive colors throughout your home. And so that is what I was thinking of doing. So I tested this brown along with another brown that we actually had. It was called Quarter Sawn Oak. Bought this for the office makeover a while back and didn't end up using that color, opted for a green instead. We have green in the office right across the way. Why not do the Quarter Sawn Oak color, which is kind of like a medium milk chocolate color with like a tint of purpley in it. It's really pretty. I think you guys are gonna love it. We also made sure to prep the space with some wood filler. So went in and filled in all those nail holes and the previous door jams on the door frame. And that way we could just kind of make it nice and smooth. What do you think so far? I can't tell if I'm loving this yet or not. In typical me style, we're changing the color because this one's way too dark. Far, far, far too dark. I know, Winston, I agree. I agree with you. Going with the color Smoked Trout from Verwin Ball. I think it's gonna be pretty. We can only hope, you guys. Sometimes this happens. I've been thinking about colors all morning. I finally went and got a gallon. It's been a few hours and I'm starting to roll it on and I forgot to film. This just always happens to me. So. Okay, okay, let's get to painting. Thank 
Here's kind of like a little look from the hallway area. Even if I just show you right here, like you can see how pretty and kind of taupey the color is. But then as we shift over here, because the pink is directed from this stairwell, I'm gonna have to tint this window like a little green or put some sort of like, I don't know, something on it to neutralize the tone because it really, really affects everything. I am hanging this light fixture while Drew's running to the fabric store. And one little tip I have for you guys is I always zip tie my um, light fixture up because they're quite heavy when you're doing the wiring. So just zip tie it to the uh, bracket or the brace, whatever it's called. It at least takes the weight off of it while you're doing the wiring and then you just clip it and hang it up. Hanging up a light fixture is not hard necessarily, but each one's a little bit different and they all have their challenges. This one is hard because since it's an old house, there's so much wiring in the top that you have to like figure out how the wires all fit together. Okay, it's up. I tested to see if it works before, but let's double check. Perfect. Hello and welcome to the continuation of our stairwell project. As you can see, we have paint up and look at that color, you guys. Beautiful. This is a great representation of what the color actually looks like. Here's another look at the color just on the actual light switches themselves, like not in the room, more so in front of direct light. And as you can see, it's a really beautiful, kind of like a pinky toned oatmeal color. I love it too. It looks so pretty in here. It still has a little bit of that pinky red kind of vibe, which we do have casted from the hallway. So, I mean, I feel like it totally meshes. We added back up the chandelier, of course, and what used to be a closet that now is Winston's dog door slash has a window on top of it. I want to separate actually with a tabletop right about here and it can kind of be like a nice little entry table for the upper floor that could have a candle and maybe some flowers. So I mentioned that we're putting a tabletop in that little closet area. Now for the tabletop, I'm actually going to be using this repurposed piece of wood that's from the top of an old coffee table that I had. This actually used to be in my old apartment and I love the coffee table but the leg broke off of one side so I salvaged the top and used it for a while and I just have had it kind of sitting around and figured I can cut it and use it again. Once we have that cut down, we can just use some simple little L brackets, and those are gonna be hidden on the inside of the underside of the tabletop, if that makes sense. So I measured the inside of the closet or essentially found the exact width I wanted my table base to be and it was just kind of hard to film that. So I ended up taping that onto the front of the table so you guys can see the cuts I am making and I'm using a circular saw just to create these cuts along the edge of the tape. And the great thing about adding tape as well is it's not gonna make your wood splinter on the top. And so I cut around all the edges, cutting it down to size and hope for the best. Cut down the wood piece and look how nice that fits in here. It's basically edge to edge, just right under the window. I'm using one of my C-stands to hold it up at the moment. I think I'm also gonna go in and paint around the dog door. We are now gonna add the brackets on the underside to secure this into place. And that will be the little tabletop under this window. It's in place. We did it. Looks really cute with the dog door under it. I'm struggling so much with the red tent from the neighboring house, but Justin just held up a piece of green fabric over our window because it kind of neutralizes the red. Look at this change. Here's how it looks currently. Here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one. <gasps> Look. Oh, okay, let, it, let the camera adjust for a second. Look at that. This here is the proper color. This is how, in my head, it should look. This is how I'm wanting it to look. It's really pretty. Ugh, that's not the vibe. Here is another look at the tone, and then Justin put it back up. Now look at the color. And I love this shade. It's so, so pretty. It's like a peachy, it's called Smoked Trout, and I can completely see why. Odd color name, but Ten Fish is trending right now, so you know the vibes, guys. <laughs> Taking a little break while we kind of figure out how we, oh, Winnie, he went in his little bed. Oh. Of course you guys know that I scour Facebook Marketplace daily, hourly, honestly, and we found the coolest haul tree. Actually, Justin found this one. He showed me it and oh, you were hesitant on showing me it because he wasn't really sure if I was gonna like it, but I took a glance at it and then I was like, can you pull that up again? And he did. And I just loved the color of it and the style of it. And it kind of leans a little French. However, the light that is in here, which was original to the home, is a French light. It's really, really beautiful. I love the chandelier. Okay, we're 
we're back with another Justin solo exclusive. We're going to pick up a haul tree in Granada Hill. I think it's like 18 miles from Drew's house, but it's going to take right around two hours to get there by the time I get there. He was only available at five today or 8 a.m. tomorrow, and I said not 8 a.m. Okay, I just made it to Granada Hills. It took me about an hour and 45 minutes to get here. Um, but the neighborhood that I'm in has funny names. The streets have funny names. I'm on Vintage Street. Right across from me is Aqueduct Avenue. And then down, I just passed Tuba Street. So I liked those. Okay, we just got it. Look how cool it is. It's like this really great, like grayish green. Um, I think it's gonna look really cool. Also, you wanna see something gross, but like funny gross. Someone put this container of processed cheese in my car like 10 days ago. And I just think it's funny, so I'm just letting it like age in the back of my truck. It was only $150 as well, so I figured we can try out the style, see if it looks good. I have a feeling that it will. The color is really, really great. The color is what sold me. I also love that it has some rattan in it. We can't have an actual furniture piece there because it still is the hallway. It needs to function and there's just not enough depth. However, this piece attaches to the wall and it's just going to act as like a cool furniture slash wall decor accent. It's almost going to feel kind of built in. I think it will be cool. Okay, let's hang it up. What's my name? Mm, Bermuda. You have Bermuda, that sounds right for okay. antique French hall tree. <laughs> That's what it could be. Okay, here's the piece kind of peeking out from the dining room area. I think it's so cool. And it also mimics the arch, like the top here kind of mimics this one. Goes back to the French style chandelier. Not entirely sure on the era of it, but these are essentially umbrella holders, which is kind of cool. It has a bunch of hooks on it as well. It has a mirror. It's just a really cool tall piece that fills the wall. It's also really interesting. Editing Drew popping in to mention that I think I actually really like this piece because the drapery of the light coordinates with the drapery on the mirror, that little like kind of motif detail. It's really cute. So we are going to figure out how to attach this. There's actually a hole already on the underside of one of the hooks. So we took it off and we're going to add a toggle bolt in here and then have it come out the backside. It's going to go into this hole in the wall, open up on the backside, and then it's going to be really strong and secure, much stronger than just like a traditional screw. Thankfully, I have been harvesting these crops and um, growing these beautiful plants for my home. Just kidding. They actually just grew in the front yard, but I'm gonna cut some because look how pretty. And they use these to style. And I think they'll dry really nicely as well. This next piece of decor here, it requires a talking portion because how absolutely gorgeous is this Murano glass candle holder? Justin and I found this on Facebook Marketplace probably like six months ago. The lady lived like four hours away. So we messaged her and asked if she was willing to ship it. And she was, and I've been saving it for a spot in my home and I just have not found the right spot. And I thought how pretty it could be just kind of like backlit from the window. You see how like that just glows right there? Hopefully that's kind of showing up. And I have these pretty taper candles uh, that I thought could go nicely in these. I'm gonna grab a torch so that I can torch the bottom and put them in the actual candle base. But I think this is gonna be so great. And then I actually have a scented candle here on top of one of these little trays, which by the way, we have got a bunch more of these in stock on the website, the Anastasio Home tray. So if you guys are wanting some, go check it out. For anyone that loves a taper candle, you guys need a torch, just go to a smoke shop. That's where you get them. And it's a literal torch. And what I'm gonna do, essentially melt the bottom of this taper, pop it in here. You're just gonna hold it for a second. And then see, it's like straight up and down now. It's not moving. You go in with your torch and you're just gonna torch the actual candle itself a little bit. Look how pretty that looks. Okay, I think this looks actually really nice. And then it's gonna blow those out and then pop this guy. Just kind of like up and then we can have the flowers kind of 
kind of even intertwining the candles could be pretty. So I think I was super excited to share this one with you guys in the hallway makeover, and it's still one of my favorite paintings. The thing about oil paintings is sometimes, depending on how it's painted, there's some walls that they'll look better on. Like some walls get more light, some walls are side lit, some have different kinds of light on them. So depending on the wall type, like this one in the hallway, it just didn't get well lit and the art just kind of fell flat because of that. But right here in this spot, I can tell you, it gets gorgeous light. And I think it's because it's the window right here. It just lights it up perfectly. I think the colors are beautiful. So I'm gonna put this one um, on this wall. I think it's really a nice size for this wall as well. The vacuum's going from the people working on the wall, but I added a little stool here, which I think looks super cute. It's honestly purposeless, but you know what? It's for the vibe. Here, look how good, little styling. And then the styling over here just looks like this. I added a little art piece back there, just kind of leaning. I think it looks cute. And then right over here, I added a trophy with some flowers in it, and the flowers are on their last leg, but they've been alive for a solid three weeks now. <laughs> I thought I'd use them though. Alrighty, it is time for me to reveal this little space to you. This is such a small, probably one of the smallest little makeovers I have done. However, it turned out so cute. And as you can tell, the lighting behind me, it's a little green at the moment because we have the green tint on the windows about to shoot the final clips. And I'm so excited to reveal this space to you. It looks so great. And I'm so happy with it connecting up to all the other rooms. Winston is trotting around at the moment. So let me go ahead and reveal it to you guys in three, two, one. I hope you guys enjoyed this space and I would love to know your honest opinions. You know, let me know in the comment section below if you think I should change the paint color. I personally, like once I got the green film on the window, which it was on the window when I filmed the outro clips, by the way, of the space. And so the final clips really do portray what I feel like the color looks like in real life. It's also hard to capture this room in general because you have light sources from like five different directions coming into one space. However, I hope you did enjoy this video and also do not forget to take Take advantage of the 15% off sale over on Lone Fox. You do not have to enter a code or anything. Just like head over to the site, add things to your cart, and automatically they will go into your cart at 15% off. And I think my friends, that is all for today's video. I will catch you guys in my next one, which will be probably my guest room or the bedroom because I have some swatches on order for the guest room. My bedroom's about to be paintable. So we have a lot coming up. So make sure to stay tuned and subscribe if you are not already. Bye guys.